Leslie Morrison and today I'm going to do a video um, which is going to explain why your motivation may not be enough to help you achieve your goals, okay? So hopefully this video won't be too long, um, I'm just going to jump up here so I can write on my whiteboard, um, but basically when we start our, our, our you know, our, our journey into tra transforming our lives and transforming our bodies, we start with this massive amount of motivation, which very quickly, within a couple of weeks, can normally teeter off and you know pale into insignificance, and it no longer drives us to want to achieve what we want to achieve. So we have, like I say, motivation, but why doesn't it, you know, why doesn't it keep us going? Why doesn't it? give us the strength to actually do more and achieve more. So motivation is an external thing. It, it comes from somewhere else. And, and what the problem we have is, is it's not relative and it's not in relation to anything that we actually care about. So when you're scrolling through social medias, when you're looking, you know, the, the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, any of these social media outlets and, and platforms that we look at and we get all of these trainers like me who will put things, you know, profound words like, I don't know, there's so many out there, um, so many different memes and things like that that, you know, you go, oh yeah, that, you know, you stop, it, it makes you notice it for long enough to maybe hit the like button or maybe share it to your timeline. But I bet if you asked yourself or thought about it a couple of hours later, you wouldn't even remember what that meme said. And the problem is, is that because it's an external force, it's someone else telling you, you've got this, you can do this, you know, be stronger than your excuses and all of these things. Because it's somebody telling you that that's the case, that you are, you can do this and you are stronger than you, it's not personal, it's not getting you in inside, it's not affecting you and relating to anything that's important to you. So motivation, although we need motivation for certain things, it's not strong enough to actually keep us going. So although it's there to start with, it's not a long-term thing. Now, what we want to try and do is find um, inspiration instead because inspiration is internal okay it comes from within it comes from inside of us and it is relative it is in relation to something that we care about so whenever I'm going through a goal setting strategy with any of my clients one of the first one of the first things that I try and get them to do, one of the first exercises in our mindset module that we try and work through is how to swap from the motivation to the inspiration to actually achieve a, a much more long term drive and a much more long term consistency in their behavior changes and, and their exercise introdu introductions. So one exercise that you can do in order to try and find your inspiration is basically to try and ask yourself one very, very simple question. And it is an incredibly simple question. I'm going to write it down on here so you can take a screenshot and then you can basically go and work on it in your own time without having to keep coming back and watching this video again and again and again. So the question would be... <coughs> um, Let's say, hope you can read my writing. So 
long question, isn't it? Okay, so the question is 50 reasons why giving my very best in every day, every workout, every decision, and every meal will benefit and impact my life and the life and the lives of those I care about. So you want to try and think more like um, the things that you will have in your life, the things that you will achieve, the feelings that you'll have, um, the, the, the mental outlook and your attitude, um, you know, all of the things that you may do that you, you won't do now. All of the things, all of the benefits and impacts that achieving your goal, achieving your goal is going to impact your life. So 50 reasons why giving my very best in every day, every workout, every decision and every meal will benefit and impact my life and the lives of those I care about. So what would, by doing these things, giving your very best in all of these areas, which is going to help you in achieving your goal, but how is that then going to impact and benefit you and your life and the lives of those that you love? Okay, by doing this exercise and writing a, a short list of maybe 50 reasons, and when I do it with my clients, I ask for a lot more reasons than this, okay? So this is the easy version. But when you've got these 50 reasons, you give yourself, a, you know, you give yourself a purpose in your goal. So a lot of people, uh, it comes up on a lot of people's answers is they want to feel or they will feel more attractive they will feel sexier they will feel more confident they will be able to overcome um certain you know certain issues that they've got going on in their lives due to the fact that they don't feel confident so they'll be able to overcome that and um, they'll be able to wear the clothes that they want to wear they'll feel more attractive they'll have a better relationship with their partners They'll have more energy to play with their children. The children will benefit because they'll see this healthy role model as a parent. So they're not then going to go down the same. All of these reasons that link to you and the people you care about, whether that's your children, your friend, your partner, your, your immediate family, your extended family, whatever they are, by having these 50 reasons that are personal, you're going to, draw, you're going to birth something quite incredible, which is inspiration. And so because that inspiration is internal, you feel it, you want it more because it's personal. It's not just a meme on Facebook or a meme on Twitter saying, hey, you've got this, go and do it. It's your life that you're watching improve in front of you by achieving your goals and, and, and basically giving your, your reasons or giving your goal a reason rather than just, I want to be a size 10 to go to New Yorker this ne next August. So give yourself the reasons, the, the strong and emotionally linked reasons to achieve your goal and you will find it much, much easier to actually be consistent in achieving or, or acting out on those habits that we discussed in the habits video. All right, so I hope that's been helpful. Again, if you've got any questions or comments that you want to make, then just drop them down. I'm more than happy to have a chat with you get in touch with me if you want to um but that's it for today's email uh, for today's lesson video uh i've been leslie and i'll see you all again soon take care bye